Welcome to Developing with DocuSign. I'm Aaron Jackson Wild, a member of the Developer Center team. In this screencast, I'll walk you through installing and running the PowerShell Quick Start on Windows and the embedded signing code example. To follow along with this screencast, you'll need a Quick Start zip file. If you haven't yet downloaded your PowerShell Quick Start zip file, please first follow the steps in the Quick Start overview page or the How to Download Quick Start video. Quick Start is a software wizard that packages a personalized code example launcher. You can choose from eight programming languages. The Quick Start wizard configures an app in the developer's DocuSign account that can make API calls. When you follow the Quick Start wizard, these steps are completed for you. The launcher is downloaded from GitHub as a zip file. An integration key is created in the developer's account. A secret key is created to enable authorization code grant. An RSA key pair is created to enable JSON web token grant. Redirection URLs are added, and the configuration file is modified with the developer's personalized information. A list of prerequisites can be found in the README on our GitHub page at github.com slash docusign slash code examples PowerShell. This README is also included in the Quick Start zip file. The README has a description of all API code examples with their source links to GitHub. I'll scroll to the installation prerequisites section. It says, note, if you downloaded this code using Quick Start from the DocuSign Developer Center, skip items 1 and 2 as they were automatically performed for you. To install and run the PowerShell launcher, I'll need PowerShell version 5 or later. I'll scroll to the installation steps in the README. It says, note, if you downloaded this code using Quick Start from the DocuSign Developer Center, skip step 3 as it was automatically performed for you. Next, it says 1. Extract the Quick Start zip file or download or clone the Code Examples PowerShell repository. The Quick Start automatically downloads into my Downloads folder. I'll unzip my Quick Start zip file into my Desktop folder. I'm in my unzipped Quick Start folder. Note that the Quick Start wizard appends a dash and the code language on the end of my Quick Start folder name. Quick Start enables developers to quickly run DocuSign code examples by configuring a launcher with the developer's account information. For the PowerShell Quick Start, this configuration file is located in the config folder and is named settings.json. Aside from my email address and name, my unique integration key, secret key, and impersonation user GUID are also displayed on the configuration file. In my DocuSign developer account, OAuth elements have DocuSign names. I can find these OAuth elements on the apps and keys page. My impersonation user GUID is called the API username and is located under my account information. My integration key can be found under the apps and integration keys next to my app name, Tally Customer Portal. In addition, my secret key can be found by selecting the Actions button next to my app name, then the Edit button. The secret key is located under Authentication. If I forget my secret key, I can create a new one by selecting Add Secret Key and pasting it in my settings.json file. Since the settings.json file contains personal information such as your name, email address, impersonation user GUID, integration key, and secret key, do not check these files into source control, such as a Git repo. I can also view and modify the source files in my Quick Start folder and see my changes when running that code example. The PowerShell Quick Start Launcher will directly open the Embedded Signing Code Example page, which I'll show later. Here's the code example for embedded signing at the top level folder. File name is eg001 embedded signing.ps1. I'll change the name of the DocuSign document from lorem ipsum to hello world. This name will be shown when the document is presented in the browser. 4. Run the launcher. In the root folder, right click the launcher file and select Run with PowerShell. From here, you'll see the consent window from the application Tally Customer Portal. In the authorization code grant flow, the application obtains consent from the individual user to perform actions on their behalf, then receives an authorization code that can be exchanged for an access token, which is required to make API calls. Note that Quick Start also adds a private.key file and configures my settings.json file for JSON web token or JWT grant, so I could select that flow as well. .NET dependencies are required to use JSON web tokens with PowerShell and will be downloaded automatically the first time you attempt JWT. Once the user has granted consent to an application, they will not be prompted again unless consent is revoked. Click Accept. Next, Quick Start will run Example 1, Embedded Signing. The signer email and name have been pre-populated with my developer account information via the settings.json file. 
As we see, the envelope is generated in real time and populated with the signer name and email address from the settings.json file. Now, I scroll to the bottom of the document and I see that the document is no longer lorem ipsum, but has been changed to hello world per my modification. I'm going to sign the document and click finish. I'm taken to a web-based HTTP response parser. Here, I confirm that the signing event has occurred. Next, we'll return to the launcher. The PowerShell launcher directs me back to eSignature code examples menu. I can run other code examples as well. All these code examples are also available in the other quick start launchers, Bash, C Sharp, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, and Ruby. If you have any questions about how to develop your integration with DocuSign, here are some resources. I recommend checking out the Developer Center how-to guides, going to Stack Overflow, reaching out to support, or signing up for API office hours. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching from our YouTube channel, please post questions and comments below the video or email us at developers at DocuSign.com.